For decades, humanity has searched the stars, not merely for planets or signals, but for anomalies, those rare shattering moments when something in the cosmos refuses to obey its own rules. And now something beyond imagination may have surfaced. The James Webb Space Telescope, our most powerful window into the void, has captured what could be the most disturbing discovery in modern history. What began as a routine observation of the third interstellar object ever recorded within our solar system, an object designated 3.I Atlas, has spiraled into a mystery that reaches far beyond science. Stay with us, and if you haven't already, subscribe now because what follows is not a story you want to miss. This may be the moment everything changes, the moment we realize that what watches from the dark may have been watching for far longer than we've dared to believe. At first, 3i Atlas appeared as nothing more than a faint speck of light drifting along the edge of our solar system. Its path, however, told another story. It moved with a trajectory that no local object could follow, too sharp, too intentional. Born beyond the gravitational reach of our sun, flung across the galaxy by forces we cannot comprehend, the object glided silently into our cosmic neighborhood. Initially, it was logged as another cosmic curiosity, akin to Oumuamua or Borisov interstellar travelers that slipped through our system and vanished again into the deep. But this one was different. Even in its earliest images, something about it felt profoundly wrong. Unlike any known interstellar body, 3.I Atlas shimmered with a steady unnatural light, its luminosity unwavering, its energy constant. It didn't flare, it didn't dim. It glowed quietly and defiantly, as if powered from within. Telescopes across the planet turned to watch. The James Webb, capable of piercing veils of dust and cosmic time, was directed toward it. What it saw would send chills through the astronomical community. At nearly a million miles from Earth, poised at the Lagrange point, the Webb telescope recorded something that broke every rule we know. It detected thermal emissions radiating from the core of 3i Atlas, not reflections of sunlight, but something self-generated, something alive with energy. Natural objects scatter light. They do not produce it. Yet here was a glow pulsing faintly, rhythmically, like the beat of a heart buried in the void. At first, scientists offered theories, radioactive decay, internal friction exotic isotopes, but one by one, each explanation crumbled. The light wasn't random. It cycled, repeating at perfect intervals patterns too deliberate to be chance. And soon the unspoken theory began to surface in quiet encrypted messages between agencies. The possibility none dared name aloud. This object might be powered. As weeks passed, data poured in from Webb, Hubble and ground-based telescopes, revealing an even darker truth. 3i Atlas was not tumbling chaotically through space like a rock or comet. It moved with precision, adjusting subtly as though navigating through gravitational currents. Its rotation was eerily stable, its trajectory deliberate. When its surface reflectivity was analyzed, scientists froze. Certain regions reflected light almost perfectly, like polished metal. Not rock, not ice, metal. It was not a natural object. It was something else. The term probe began whispering through scientific circles like a forbidden word. Others called it a craft, a relic, an artifact. Suddenly, what was once dismissed as fantasy began echoing in government corridors. Then came the light. Photometric analysis revealed that 3i Atlas wasn't reflecting a broad spectrum of sunlight. It was emitting a narrow band of frequencies, focused and deliberate, just like our laser communications or spacecraft signals. Some of these frequencies matched those used on Earth for navigation and guidance systems, even more unsettling, the object's brightness seemed to react to solar radiation as though compensating for environmental change, like a machine adjusting itself in real time. It flickered, not randomly, but in patterns. When those light patterns were fed through computational models, the results were maddening. Some analysts saw binary structures, sequences that hinted at language or code. Others suggested it was simply a rotating power system, but all agreed on one fact, 3i Atlas was not passive. It was doing something. Astrophysicists at MIT and Harvard conducted deeper analyses, applying Fourier transforms to the electromagnetic emissions. What they uncovered chilled even the most rational minds. Beneath the noise, buried deep within the static, was a repeating pulse, precise, mathematical, intentional. 
It wasn't human. It wasn't random. It was structured, like a signal meant to be heard. Some whispered it might be a beacon, a broadcast or telemetry streaming back to a point far beyond our reach. But there was one chilling realization. The message never changed. It was constant. Three-Eye Atlas wasn't trying to talk to us. It was talking to someone else. When a classified report leaked, panic spread through the upper levels of defense agencies. Officials debated whether the object posed a threat. Some insisted it was ancient, perhaps dormant, drifting through systems on a pre-programmed route. Others argued it was active, perhaps even watching. If it was transmitting, who was receiving? If it was here, why now? The silence between those questions was more terrifying than any answer. Then a breakthrough. Analysis suggested that 3 Eye Atlas might not only emit energy, it might harvest it. The way its light output fluctuated near the sun hinted at a form of photonic collection, as if the object absorbed solar radiation to refuel. The dust halo surrounding it could have been both camouflage and mechanism, a mask to hide its structure while feeding it. If true, this would mean the craft was self-sustaining, built to drift endlessly through the stars, awakening only when it encountered something worth studying. And now it had awakened here. Governments said nothing publicly, but their silence was louder than any press release. Documents leaked from multiple countries all reached the same quiet conclusion. This wasn't an accident of nature. It was contact, slow, silent, deliberate. No lights in the sky, no ships descending from the clouds. Just a cold, indifferent gaze from the darkness beyond Mars. If this was a message, it was written in light, not words, and we were being watched in ways we couldn't yet comprehend. Then it happened. Three Die Atlas flared. Its brightness surged by 40% in less than two minutes. No natural force could explain it. It wasn't a reflection, wasn't outgassing, wasn't collision. It was activation. And with it came a slight shift in trajectory, so subtle yet undeniable. The object had changed course. It was moving inward, closer to the plane of Earth's orbit. For the first time, scientists realized that this thing wasn't just passing through. It was maneuvering. Spectral data revealed metallic alloys and compounds unknown to our periodic table, materials that could not have formed naturally. Some of these matched only theoretical substances proposed in quantum research, elements stable only under impossible conditions. Whoever built it, if it was built, was not human. And whatever its purpose, it was far beyond us. As data tightened and governments closed ranks, a theory emerged among those still free to speak. Three-Eye Atlas was a scout, a silent observer drifting from system to system, collecting information, waiting. For what, no one knew. But history tells us scouts never come alone. One final act of defiance came from the SETI Institute. They sent a directed radio transmission, simple mathematical constants, atomic sequences, a greeting. For days, silence. Then on the third day, precisely 72 hours later, a return ping arrived. Not random noise. Not reflection, a reply. Delayed by the exact time light would need to travel both ways. Someone or something had received our call, processed it and answered. After that, everything began to fail. Instruments malfunctioned. Web sensors glitched. Hubble's systems reported impossible readings. Ground-based telescopes froze at the exact moment 3 Eye Atlas came into focus. It was as if the object itself didn't want to be seen anymore. Scientists whispered of interference, of deliberate jamming. Perhaps 3 Eye Atlas was no longer content to be observed. Perhaps it was observing us back. Then came the blackout. Data access revoked. Logs sealed. Government silent. The story vanished into classified vaults, the light of truth swallowed by bureaucracy. Yet the world had already seen it. We saw the glow, the shift, the signal. We knew. Independent astronomers kept tracking the object and one final detail emerged. Its course wasn't random. When plotted across time and planetary motion, it traced a pattern. A Fibonacci arc, a perfect spiral echoing through nature and human design alike. The timing of its flares followed prime number intervals, mathematical precision embedded in cosmic movement. No comet behaves this way. No natural body obeys this kind of rhythm, and so the final dreadful understanding dawned. Three-Eye Atlas isn't just an object. It's a message written in movement and light. Every flicker, every change, every silence means something. We have already answered once and now something far away may be listening. The James Webb Space Telescope, 
was built to look back in time, to witness the birth of galaxies. Instead, it may have seen something looking back at us. Something ancient, something patient, something that has been waiting in the cold for our light to touch it. We've spent generations asking if we're alone. The universe may have just answered, not with words but with presence, and now as Three-Eye Atlas drifts silently inward, as the world pretends nothing has changed, one truth remains unshakable.